Last week at Kansas, we finished 14th, and uh, we had a good run going until, unfortunately, um, we got spun out. I don't remember who spun us out, but I got loose off the corner. I got hit from behind, and unfortunately, we spun out, thought I had control, went back up the racetrack, got hit again, and... Um, yeah, so finished 14th. I don't think the caution, I don't remember if the caution came out after that or not. But today we are going to Watkins Glen for the go bowling at the Glen. So let's get down to the track for qualifying. Qualifying starts now. I forgot how much I loved this racetrack. I absolutely love this place. It's great. Um, I, I really do love this track. Um, everything about it's great. Um, it's, it's one of those tracks that I want on the schedule more than once. That's for sure. I came in the chicane here a lot. Well, the bus stop, not the chicane. I came in that much hotter than I did uh, the uh, pace, or pretty much get up to speed lap. Came in way hotter there. Looks like we might come in, we're coming in way hotter here too. We didn't even hit 160. Actually, I, I, th I wanna say that we might have, but I'm not really 100% sure what we hit, but you guys know we're gonna kinda do this because I don't wanna get pole. Come on! I think we gotta increase. We gotta increase the difficulty on this. That's for sure. Green flag is out here at Watkins Glen. Hopefully everything is good. Taking the first corner a little bit wider than I would like to. Got 11 laps of fuel, so I don't think we will be making a pit stop with the AI. They might make a pit stop. I don't know. Kurt Busch running in second right now. We are cooking it today, boys. That's for sure. As you guys are watching this, I am at Auto Club Speedway. Come and say hi. I will be at the eNASCAR booth, the Motorsport Games slash iRacing booth. I will be bouncing in between both of them, but I will mainly be at the iRacing booth because, um, you know, you know, the iRacing deal. Um, so there is that. So come out, say hi. I will be there Saturday for the Xfinity race and Sunday for the Cup race as well. Car feels really good. Um, I actually loosened it up even more after our qualifying run. I loosened it up way more just because I felt like it was going to be a lot better for us if we loosened it up just a little bit. So I just kind of want to give you guys a little bit of a, a little bit of a heads up as well. I will be at Phoenix and Vegas as well for. Um, Vegas, I'll be there for Trex Xfinity Cup and the same thing for Phoenix. Again, at the NASCAR, EE e NASCAR booth, <laughs> the iRacing booth there will be at both of those. Hopefully you guys are all having a great day. I know my day is going pretty good. Um, right now it looks, I've been looking at the weather. It's currently Wednesday as I'm recording. It's looking at the weather for Saturday and Sunday. It looks like rain and snow. It's currently snowing right now, actually, as well. So that's quite nice. We come around the final turn onto the front straightaway, and we are going to win stage one. One stage. Way to go, driver.
everybody is pitting, so I'm gonna say screw it, and we're gonna go ahead and pit as well. Um, Justin Ailey, Bubba Wallace, all of those guys decided to stay out, which I'm not gonna lie to you, is actually quite surprising because I would not actually think that they would pit as William Byron now goes to the lead. Okay, we're going to make a pass right there. Hey, it's our old car from last season, John Harnimacek. Hopefully, he's my pick for the 2023 NASCAR Xfinity Series Championship. Well, champion. That's right, baby. He is my pick as I'm sending him into the bus stop as me and Joey Logano roughing up into it just a little bit. We're going to come out here. Okay, okay. Let's get back on the banking. Whew. That one was a little bit dangerous right there. Hopefully... Maybe we can maybe we can get another fluke winner out here today. That would be pretty cool. I don't know who's leading right now at the moment, but it is who is it? Cole Custer. Okay, good run for Cole Custer here. Hopefully, he gets a good run. We're going to go wide. Blaney go. Thank you very much, Blaney. Definitely going to increase the difficulty the next uh, season. Definitely going to be doing that for sure. Don't look at the recording. <laughs> Don't look at the recording mid-turn. Breaks. We were cooking it into that bus stop. Holy! Can't get get back back. Get. Uh. Oh, Logano. Coming around the final corner as I send it in deep. And we finish second in stage two. So everybody that did not pit, John Hardy, Machek, David Reagan, William Byron, Cole Custer, Bobby Carter, Timmy Hill, McDowell, Bubba, Quinn Hauf, Joey Gase, Justin Haley, though they, they are all pitting as well as Chad Fit Fitchum. I don't I have no idea who that is. We are in a second. We have a nice, clear, straight shot right, man. here. Hopefully, you ready now? it works well as we kind of mess up that start there. I don't know. I said 14 laps, and we have 17 laps. There's eight laps of fuel. Ooh. Roughing up Ryan Blaney just a little bit there. Hopefully he doesn't cause anything or hopefully nothing bad or anything of that sort really comes from that as we push draft as we bump draft with Joey Logano and we are going to send him into the bus stop as he spins out and we nearly crash into the wall right there. Oh man that was a little sketchy. 
That was pretty sketchy right there. We're going green. Are you ready now? Hopefully Hammer down. Green down. everything is good as we are getting passed by Joey Logano, the guy that we sent. That last corner. This thing's gotten this thing got really tight. Um that's for sure. This thing got really freaking tight coming off of uh, that from kind of pushing people and doing all that. Gonna give Ricky Stenthouse Jr. just a little nudge there. Hopefully he can take that and he can as we enter in side by side with Jimmy Johnson and it to the bus stop. Now hopefully this is good. We're going to try and get Ricky Stenthouse Jr. into the playoffs here. He won the 2023 Daytona 500 one week ago. Well, let's see if he can win at Watkins Glen here today. As he hits Kurt Busch. And Kurt Busch opens the door. And is he going to be able to make anything of it maybe we're gonna push him down this front straight away definitely gonna be able to get past Kurt Busch here hoping that he will be able to get past those two Penske Fords of Joey Logano and Ryan Blaney cars feeling a little bit better um, are feeling better right now just hoping that uh, you know everything is Good here with three to go. Okay, I'm just gonna make a move on Kurt Bush, bump draft him just a little bit, pushed him probably a little Yep, pushed him a little too deep in the corner there. And I'm assuming that the caution's gonna wave. Caution did come out here. NASCAR overtime we go. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. is running fourth. Right now we have a clear shot at the opening, but we are going to go and push Joey Logano. Really quick. Hopefully I didn't push him too hard, and it looks like I did, and I even went a little too hard there myself. We go overtime number two. This is mainly when like uh, IRL things happen like this when it comes to two to go. That's where a lot of this happens IRL. Eric Almarola taking the shove that I gave him and doing something with it. Good work by Eric Almarola there. Trying to make a move. Gonna try and do something. Clear Jimmy Johnson. Oh, don't spin out, please. Thank you. I don't want to have another caution. If we get one on the last lap, I don't care. I just don't want one right now because then I don't want to have another restart. But I guess if we end up having another restart. Oh, well. And does Ryan Blaney save it? He does. Ryan Blaney saves from that brutal hint that your boy gave him. White flag is out, presented by Apex Gaming at PCs. One to go. As we are right on the back bumper of Eric Almarola. I'm going to give it to him. I'm not going to take it. We don't need this win. Um, he needs this win more than I do. We are already locked into the playoffs. I have four, do believe four spots open. We have Daytona next weekend. And hopefully the stars will align for another new winner at Daytona anything is possible especially at Daytona never know what can happen there 
just hoping that this all goes good as this car for some weird reason likes going out wide in that turn i don't know i always go really wide out here and then nose dive in like this and then i kind of get i kind of can get the run on whoever it is and then take it half the time from the outside and run it all the way over here coming out of the final turn for the final time coming down the front straight away eric almarola is gonna win at watkins glen Nice run for Eric Almarola there. Really, really nice run there. Absolutely wonderful. That is your top 10, in case you are wondering. This is what the playoffs now look like as well. So that's four, five, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, thirteen winners on the season, and I think that was also um oh that was Eric Amarola's second win. Okay, so if William Byron didn't decide to uh, do anything like that, then he probably would have ended up winning this race. But that's what the point standings look like as of now. Finished second at Watkins Glen. Actually, no, I forgot we are we are starting the playoffs. That was that. The playoffs start next week at Bristol, and then Daytona is a cutoff race, and then Vegas is a cutoff race. An Auto Club Speedway is another cutoff race. And then we go to Homestead at Miami Speedway for this championship. In the next 10 weeks, boys, we're going to be crowning a champion in Homestead at Miami Speedway. Alrighty, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share the footage if you enjoyed. If you're interested in getting a gaming computer, please click the link in the description below. So, for you, Apex Gaming PCs, absolutely fantastic computers. And if you guys use code SQUAD, S Q U A D, you guys can get 10% off of all products. If you that correctly, 10% off of all products using code SQUAD, S Q U A D. Don't forget, stop by the e NASCAR iRacing booth at Fontana this Saturday and Sunday. I will be there from the time the track opens to the time track closes and probably a little bit more so if you are a vip hit up that iRacing racing booth peace out and i see you guys in the next one yeah